the fan fiction to black and white era movies, um, but in with a modern twist, especially looking at online dating and just love in general in the modern world. Um, I personally really enjoyed the title cards. I thought they were extremely humorous, um, and I loved the sort of 20s dance, um, black and white style uh, moves that some of the actors were doing. I thought that was really funny. Um, a be entertaining story. This film Lonesome took a lot of um, kind of tropes or conventions from old timey filmmaking, um, including speeding up the film or um, adding fully effects, adding sound effects afterward that were sort of obviously not quite lined up, um, obviously being in black and white, and um, certain stylistic um, effects like the the love interest had kind of a 1920s looking vibe to her hat and her makeup and just um, her sort of attitude. And um, I think that those conventions were used in a way to create a sense of, yes, old timiness and sort of charming sense of kind of comedy and willingness to suspend disbelief and go into this world, but also I think demonstrating that these issues of feeling lonely or having a sense of misconnection or reaching out and trying to find love, that those issues transcend through time. So it's like perfectly possible that this exact same story could have happened like a hundred years ago and it would still have the same comedic impact and also the same emotional effect. And awesome music score. They give us this hint of a classical, almost silent film style. With, uh, combined with the monochromatic film, it's just like a very magical film. They have lovely characters and it's, there's this whimsical connection. You really suffer with the main character and this venture and finding her. And yeah, it's cliffhanging and it's just very, very engaging. I totally enjoyed it. They have very cool special effects with the coloring of the different specific scenes. They use also the fish eye and also the appearing rain. I love the performances. The script is as well very deep and totally hopeful. It was very cute. I really like it. I love the fact that the film is in black and white. It gives a real memory feel as he spends a great deal of time reminiscing about the date months later. However, some images have touches of bright color in them for dramatic effect. The soundtrack is fanciful and upbeat, notably when things are going well. Lots of fun scene titles and footage around the town, such as streetcars, a busy market, and a balloon ride. The film is clever in its use of overlapping images and inserts. Love the writing, and the pace of the film kept the viewer in suspense until the end. Great job. absolutely parts of this film I enjoyed. I thought the uh, story was delightful, the characters endearing, um, the direction, which I thought was fine. I enjoyed the sort of marriage of, uh, you know, black and white slapstick, uh, very physical, and then uh, other elements mixed in there. You've got song, you've got just some cool stuff. What I meant was um, just a lot of the uh, the transitions, the feathered edge, picture and picture sort of stuff. Just again, personal preference. Um, but overall, I thought it was an enjoyable film. Just really uh, an interesting concept. Uh, definitely one worth checking out.